कोशिश हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम लोग जो प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज आज के दिनों में मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी आर यूजिंग आर लैंग्वेज एंड पाइथोन्स बट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो हु नीड्स टू लर्न आर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो फर्स्ट वी कैन डाउनलोड इट यू कैन गो द आर स्टूडियो and but i am using alternative r clouds so r studio clouds so let here you have seen here you are looking here r studio cloud i have already made so many applications so need to the understand only basic things first i am going to use um, something just look here so yeah something so many things is the important so you need a internet connectivity otherwise you are not able to operate this one and second uh, things means uh, your speed must be better and so otherwise you can alternative you go the r sites and you can download it so look here so it looking like a uh, this way so first i am looking here consoles and second here you can see the second depths looking like this way environment history and connections tutorials is here and third we can also the file plots package you can download it so many packages here help views portions okay and diagrams also so now if i am going to this is the way to the there are four interfaces here look at this one is the first one interfaces and second will be the this here the console interfaces and third here the this one is the global environment here and fourth you can here this one is the you can show the diagrams and city so there are four interfaces so so if you understand about the r means r just like a statical tool you can say so r is the used for statical computing and graphical presentations to the analyze and visualize data so if i write here something is a very simple just like here i am writing here plot right here and from one and columns to nine and i want to run this one so this one is the look here are you getting here the plot has been done here automatically so index is the main and one to nine is the this is the way to easily you can understand these things right here So this like a linear flow. Uh, if you like, uh, if you like to print here some syntax means you write here print and then I write here hello world. here what happened just here so you can see hello world has been printed here so this is the string here and now the another is the numeric so look here very fast and uh, it is a very visible things just you can also the loops for loops we will discuss later 
I will try to paste the more more of things here. So you can add it uh, means just like a concatenate elements. Just we can add the two strings also, two numeric values also, uh, and you can also the assume the variables like here. Variables means look I can assign here x and this is assign this one as it 10.5 look here 10.5 is a float I think you can say the python but here is also this one is the numeric and another variable y and this one as it now we write the faulty this is also the numeric value means integer and now I want to specify the class of x and class of y so I am going to write here class and now class x and look here what happens I am going to just uh, turn this one look here this one is the numeric value similarly we can write here the class y so we will see how here i go to write this one and then run this one okay this one is also numeric so these are the basic assignment so we can assign the variable this and these things so similarly some mathematical operators like a uh, built in the mathematic functions maximum value if you would like to the maximum value means uh, I can write there max and minimum is also you can use the minimum so max I am going to write 10 plus 20 and now 30 so now I try to run this well, look here what is the max value is maximum value has been given here the 30 if you write the same value as a minimum so you write here max replace here me m i n and then i try to run here so look here this one is the minimum value so it has been specified here. now abs means absolute is also you can count here and if you try to the string assign so a string is also uh, assigned as a variable similarly just if you write here the two string value now i try to understand just if i write here str okay and this one is because i need the two variables so str this one is the one i have already mentioned a string hello okay and now the another variable str 2 and this one has been mentioned here word but I am going to mm, combine these two strings so this is very simple so we can use the function test so let's try test and then you can write here I write here str1 str1 comma str2 right. let's see what happened just uh, uh, look here yeah means both uh, variables both are the string here and both are combining here then it is uh, making a single string hello world so for loop other loops so i try to discuss the next video i think in you you can this video can be the helpful for you and I try to upload the next video. Thank you.